We recently, now it's been what, about a couple of months now, three months or so, right. uh, we acquired a surgical orthopedic robot. So what is the CORI, C-O-R-I, surgical? Right. So, so robot is sort of the term robotic surgery. I mean, it's not like, you know, danger, danger, Will Robinson, you know, <laughs> like robots wandering around. Um, I, I think of it more as digital image guided surgery. So essentially what it is, is I'll, I'll go back to my little model here. So because everyone's knee looks mostly like this, um, but it's a little different. So this bump might be bigger. It might be a little uh, more turned. It might be a little more rotated. So what it lets you do is at the time of the surgery, we have a robot that has essentially a camera, kind of like the camera over there, and we put little sensors on the knee. And then we mark those sensors on the camera. And then we move the knee left, right, up, down, and the, the camera, which is the computer, uh, digitizes all of that happening, like, like a video game in a mm -hmm. sense. So what happens is once we track, and we track all around the whole joint, once we do that, the computer now knows where everything is related to everything else. So if you do this, the computer knows that the parts move, right? If you do this or if you do this, the computer knows where everything is. So it gives us a real-time display of all of the angles, uh, all of the lines, all the things we need to see. And so it's accurate to a half a degree and a half a millimeter. Now, half a millimeter is pretty small. So if we think, um, for instance, gee, the knee's a little too loose over here. We can accommodate for that with the computer that can then help us um, to balance this out. And so the, the handheld part is a tool that's uh, it's basically a milling machine. So it's a high speed burr um, and it's linked to this computer and it sends information back 300 times a second. Wow. So you, you can't move this in one 300th of a second more than the half millimeter it already knows where you are so it knows exactly where you are and it can tell you where to cut and where to do things to make these little cuts that have to line up perfectly to this piece um, and if you attempt to stray in the wrong direction like you said well gee what happens if somebody's arm slips right um, it just shuts the burr off in, in a split second so you can't so if I took this burr and I went up to here by mistake before I ever start moving, it's completely shut off, which means it can't cut anything, it can't do anything. Wow. So it, it's a safety margin that essentially prevents, it's like um, like maybe the automatic braking on your car, right? You know, you're not paying attention, not that you'd be on a cell phone or anything like that, but you're not paying attention and your sensor says, uh-oh, coming up too close, and it breaks before you do. It's similar to that, right? So it breaks us, but it also keeps you in the lane. And what it allows us to do, you know, again, when you look at this, right, it could be aligned like this, it could be like this, the knee could be like this, it could be like this. It allows us to get this as close to exactly where we want it to be as we can. Huh, and, it, and that's gotta be accelerators or, uh, and also, uh, GPS guided based on these? I mean, landmarks. it's not GPS because, you know, GPS is only good to a half a meter, and this is a half a millimeter. But again, because Same it's got all these little sensors, yeah, right, yeah, the, the computer is constantly yeah. cal triangulating where everything is. So yeah. it knows where everything is. And by the way, it tells you where the rotation is, right? So you can see when I do this, this is rotating about here. But if I twisted it this way, it would be rotating differently. Hmm. So the computer can get your rotation exactly right. And you can see that the axis you're on is exactly the way you want to be. Right. Um, sometimes um, that's very helpful. It's not absolutely critical. So it's not that every single step of every single operation needs to be within a half a millimeter. But all of it has to blend together so that at the end, everything is where you want it to be. Right. You know, and you can go back and remove a little more or do a little more, and that's what the computer really helps you do the right. best. Whereas previously, you know, you would put a jig and you'd, you'd make a cut and you'd take a look at it and said, that looks about right. And I mean, if you're good at doing this, you're pretty good at that because right. that's what I do well, for a living. It, yeah. um, but it is interesting to see, you know, little tiny things that might be off. And then some people are tighter or they have one ligament that's more damaged than the other. And this allows you to kind of fine tune that a little bit better um, than just doing it manually. Right. Now, so just more on the engineering piece of this, because it's yeah. fascinating. Uh, but if I have a deceased limb or knee, okay. and I come into you and you put in all those sensors, and right. now you're trying to figure out what the motion should look like, where right. things should be, uh, would you want to 
kind of mirror a deceased joint would I guess no you're trying to mirror a non disease joint so right. what's happening is it, I don't have a, a whole body to show you here obviously you're you're marking where the hip is and you're marking where the ankle is so you know where the whole limb is in terms of rotating bending so essentially you want your your it's, it's, ball of your hip to right. line up over the center of your knee to line up over the center okay. of your ankle so this allows you to do that also which then allows you to make these cuts to make that happen right. so you're going back from the knee which is deformed now and you're making a computer model of that knee when it would not be deformed and then you're putting the parts to that right 